This is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 3rd of October. I'm Mary Morrison. And I'm Barkley Bishop. Thanks so much for joining us. The coverage you can count on begins with the latest out of Las Vegas where hundreds are recovering and still grieving after somebody opened fire on concert goers last night. More than 500 people were injured in that shooting. More than 50 were killed. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has the latest from the strip this morning where that investigation continues. Marcy, what can you tell us is the latest this morning? Good morning. Police believe the killer acted alone, and as they work to learn more about him and why he did this, the focus for so many people who are mourning today is solely on all of those lives lost. In prayer and through tears, the victims honored overnight. It's okay to mourn those you love. 28 year old Afghanistan Navy vet Chris Roybal, Hannah Allers, a mother of three, a Las Vegas police officer. One of my officers was off duty attending the concert and lost his life. Special education teacher Santa Casey and the 55 others mercilessly killed at a country music festival Sunday night. The murderer, 64 year old Stephen Paddock, breaking the windows of his room on the 32nd floor at the Mandalay Bay Hotel along the famed Las Vegas Strip, shooting into the crowd of 22,000 people below before killing himself. Those nearly two dozen firearms found in the room included, according to a source, an assault rifle modified to fire like an automatic machine gun. 19 more firearms and ammunition also found at his home in Mesquite, Nevada. Neighbors and his brother dumbfounded. Steve had nothing to do with any political organization, religious organization, no white supremacists, nothing. Police say several pieces of media were also found in the hotel room, including, a source says, a video camera. Investigators hoping that evidence could offer some insight into the motive for the massacre that left more than 500 people injured. I was carrying, um, whether they were dead or alive, as many people as I possibly could. And now the ongoing outpouring of love from this community. People waiting in line for hours to donate blood. And people from across the country have already donated more than $2 million to help the survivors and the victims' families. Live in Las Vegas, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News.